How's it going folks, this is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. In this video, we're gonna briefly talk about native eGPU support in macOS High Sierra. You can probably picture how excited I was when I learned that Apple would be supporting external GPUs in macOS High Sierra. So I'm running High Sierra on my 2016 MacBook Pro. I have an Akitio Node eGPU unit paired with an AMD RX 580, the same GPU that Apple is supplying in its developer kits and I have it connected to my external display. Now, of course, all of this is connected to my MacBook Pro via a Thunderbolt 3 connection. So a single Thunderbolt 3 connection going from the Akitio node to the 2016 MacBook Pro's left Thunderbolt 3 ports because this is a 13 inch model. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in the Thunderbolt 3 cable to my MacBook Pro and you can see immediately the external GPU fires up, the AMD RX 580 fires up and it's ready to go. Almost though, not quite. You're gonna notice that if you already have macOS High Sierra booted up, you're gonna see a message on your screen when you plug in your eGPU, at least in beta one, uh, that an eGPU is detected, so that's a very positive thing, but you need to log out and log back in in order to use that external GPU. Now, for my particular setup, I found that it works best if you just go ahead and restart your Mac. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. But again, I just wanna reiterate, the great thing about this is that it's natively supported. External GPUs are natively supported in macOS High Sierra. So there's no hacks that you need to use, no workarounds that you need to employ. You just plug it in and it works out of the box, which is a wonderful thing if you've ever used or tried to use an external GPU in prior versions of macOS. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. You can see that my external display in the back there, which I have set to my primary display is up and running. All right, so I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and try some things out. Uh, one thing I wanna mention first though, is that not everything works and that's to be expected. This is a beta. Uh, so you're gonna see right there, it recognizes my AMD card, but it doesn't recognize it as an RX 580 just yet. Also, when I try to load up Final Cut Pro 10, it doesn't quite work just yet. But again, this is beta folks, so keep that in mind. I'm just excited that this stuff works natively out of the box and it really does bode well for the future of external GPU support in Mac OS. I think things are very bright as far as the future is concerned for external GPUs and for power users in general. All right, so I'm running the Heaven benchmark and it's decent. Around 30 frames per second in some of the high traffic areas goes up to almost 60 frames per second in some areas. You can see those fans firing up. I am running this using ultra settings. Obviously this GPU can't compete with something like the 1080 Ti for instance, but still a lot of potential for eGPU setups in macOS. Notice I just unplugged the Thunderbolt 3 cable. It didn't crash macOS. If you did this in previous versions of macOS, it would outright crash your machine. You would have to reboot completely. Now, all you need to do is just log back in and you're good to go. So that is, again, showing progress towards making eGPUs more of a, a workable solution for MacBook Pro owners and iMac users as well. So here is that same Heaven benchmark running solo this time, obviously not performing nearly as well as it was with the external GPU. So ladies and gentlemen, like I alluded to, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Tell me, are you excited about the future of eGPUs on macOS? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.